Okay. Mm. Go on and introduce the show. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I was positive because I can't remember uh, which episode this is. I think we're 16. 16, yeah. That's 16. right. 16. Welcome, so folks. Gonna... Your host, Terry Burkett. <laughs> Listen, I only play a small part, to be honest. <laughs> so we do a couple of announcements. Um, new grading announcement. What? It's been a, yeah, I uh, was training with Bryn, hence being in a gi. Yeah. I was doing a bit of training earlier, training with Bryn. Yeah. I kicked him in the head and he said, oh, well done, well done, another strike for you. So that's pretty much as good as a grading. <laughs> So I'm going to be a sixth down from now on. <laughs> that's the, that's the that's way. Of, of legit kind of, as they are anyway. That's the way people think it works. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we, so me and you were talking the other day about it. We, we're going to put it out to the, the guys at home as well. We're thinking and gals. About, and I'd say guys in a general guyness. President Biden. Big shout out. Love the way, love his last speech. Very inspiring. Uh, <laughs> so we think, so we do our show twice a week and we're thinking about changing it to once a week. Uh, we're going to do like a, a Friday show once a week, mm. tad longer. Although we originally started 20 minute shows, we've kind of creeped up to 40 kind minutes of. because I like to talk shit. So and when I'm on a, when I'm on okay. a flow, I do never know where it's going to go. Do you? Yeah. So we're thinking about doing a once a week show. We put it out on a Friday yeah. and, and we'll slightly change the format. We'll do like a, a roundup of news of yeah. what's gone on that week. 10 minutes of like, this is happening, that's happening. And then, uh, and then we address comments and stuff. And then we'll go into a topic. Exactly. And, it, and for a few reasons. One, I think it, because then we can get into a bunch of things. Yeah. Uh, but also uh, we're busy. Yeah, and, and this is what I was going to say. In we, weird time zones. We are busy. I mean, you know, for me, it's like I past 10 years now in the night. So I'm like, I've just come in. I'm chilled. Scott has only just walked in through the door from work. So he's like, right, let's get the show done so I can have dinner. And then and, run to the dojo. And then run to the dojo. And, and you listen, I know we, we I, I take the piss out of Scott and call him my buttons man and stuff. And But... It's easy for me. I just turn up and talk shit for half hour. Scott has got to edit it, put it all together, press his little buttons, and, <laughs> and give you the show. So I talk for 40 minutes. Scott spends two hours putting it together. So again, we, if we put that down to one week, uh, once a week, uh, oh, we can have like a, a super show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What are we talking about then? All right. So... This one's a question from a viewer. I love saying that. From our two viewers. From <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, I got to find it. I accidentally closed it. All right. Uh, so I actually know this guy. I met him. He came to our uh, a summer camp. He's an American. Uh, Jason Reddit. So he says, I love real talk. Uh, I have a question. The sensei always say... Uh, says to practice at home, but rarely do we get a plan on how to do this. It's usually left to the student to figure out this on their own. What are your alls, my Americans, friends, what are your alls on, ideas on how to train at home? Do you have a set pattern to follow? With COVID, I found many didn't have a home plan, et cetera, et cetera. And he also, he, he included a site that I was looking at uh, from the Dallas Gate. It's pretty cool, and it gives some ideas. So I'm going to add that in there as well if people want to take a look at it. Uh, but it is a good question because you do hear that a lot, like uh, make sure you're practicing or practicing at home. But what, what exactly does that mean? Nobody what, really what grade is Jason? What grade oh, that's is Jason? a good question. It, oh, shoot. Here, is he, I that. think, I, I'm, he's, in, he's in America, isn't he? Yeah, he's in Q ranks. I'm sure he's. I'm sure I've been in contact with Jason, and he's possible, ordered a yeah. t-shirt and some gloves. I think he's a first Q or second Q. I don't think quite that, but uh, I could be Is wrong. It, we might be on about different people, but Jason just sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so depending what grade you are as well, if you're blue belt, yellow belt, you're going to be limited in what you know and what you can do. But certainly, if you're a brown belt, I believe he's you, a yellow belt. 
Jason, I'm sorry, man. I'm looking through your pictures no. and trying to find, but uh, I believe Jason is a, a, a yellow belt. Well, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff out there at the moment as well. And now you've got Sean Cameron that was doing his videos. You've got the KRT boys doing their videos. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of people are doing online uh, training. Yeah. Uh, and I just think, like we said before, you've got to set a time, and you've got to set, say, right, Thursday night, six o'clock, I'm training. But I think his question is more around, so the online stuff is great, uh, mm -hmm. but when you're left to your own devices. So, you know, and this is even like if you were in a physical class and then the teacher will tell you to go home and practice, but what yeah. do you practice and how do you set it up and stuff? So, I, I, and I do this quite a bit. Um, so the only thing that works for me is I, I need um, like a, a rigid set. structure. Yeah. So I'll, I'll make sure that I have X amount of, I'll always warm up. So I'll have a good warm up. Um, but I always have, I need an objective. Like I'm not just going to willy nilly just practice because I don't, I don't feel like I, I think everyone does. That. Everyone has to have an objective. Yeah. We've all had those sessions where, you know, I've done it. I'm like, gone to a session. I train on my own a lot. Mm -hmm. So when you go in the door, you're like, right, let's do some push ups, do a couple of push ups. I'm bored of that. I'll do a bit of kick in. I'm bored of that now. I'll, uh, and it becomes a, 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 a everything. I'll do a cat there, a bit of this, some push-ups. And you've never really, you've just kind of done a general all around loosen up which, without which, actually working anything. Exactly. I mean, not that there's, like, you'll gain something from that. But I, I personally, if I have, if, like, I'll, like, for right now, for example, I'm really concentrating on my kicking. Mm -hmm. So, and I have specific things and exercises that, because it's not just about kicking, it's about, you know, strengthening the small Open muscle. Opening the hips out. Exactly. And... All that kind of stuff. So I, yeah. I, I literally have written out a, a routine that I'm going through, that I'm following, uh, doing that. Uh, and I, I think that's one of the keys though, isn't it? You need to write something down. Where, yeah. When you try to do something off your own mind, it kind of goes, oh, this and that. If you've got it written down what you have to do, and I think our numbers are low. We're Westerners are lazy in general because we've got so much we want to get done in a session. Yeah. We'll do 10 of everything, 20 of everything. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. And, and it, That's true. It is. So we do 10 of each punch, work through. Yeah. Instead of like, so I, for the last few years, or for a good while now, I've always done... Sometimes we might run through things of need minimum need you. It's got right. to be twenty as a minimum if we're going to do if we're going to do every arm technique, mm -hmm. we'll do twenty as a minimum, and you know take half hour run through them all. Right. But in general, we do sets of hundred. So I've got my ten punch warm up where we'll do Chudan Monotoski, Jordan Gaidan, Chudan Oiski, Jordan Gaidan, Agouchi, Shitaski, Kageski. And then age ski, boom, straight up under the chin, the uppercut, mm -hmm. which a lot of people don't realize is, is there. Uh, it's well, not on a lot of syllabus. Lot. Yeah, that yeah. boom, straight up the middle under the chin. Yeah. 10 punches, 100 each, that's 1,000 punches. Yeah. So if you, know, said, crazy, eh? if you said, if you said, do 1,000 punches, you'd be like, whoa, <laughs> fuck off. I haven't yeah. got all night. Yeah. But you do 100 of each, you run through it. it You'll be surprised. It's very little time, 20 minutes. Well, it put it in perspective. So every, well, every year, uh, it was great when we were doing it on purpose. Um, for New Year's, we always do the number, uh, uh, whatever year it is, in kicks. So like right. 20, 2020 kicks, 2021 kicks. And even that, you're like, whoa, that seems so daunting. Yeah. But And it, it's hard. Don't get me wrong. All kicking. But... When you put them in boxes, if when you different... yeah, and you go in through it, and mm -hmm. remember this this thing called gammon of to endure with dignity, yeah, yeah. to endure with dignity. If you set yourself and you go right tonight, I'm going to do a hundred Hezi Gerries, a hundred My Gerries, and a hundred Jordan Mawashi Gerries. Yeah, and don't just keep doing it. All right, you may stop. You may think, oh, I got to stop after thirty. Quick couple of seconds, do another thirty. Whoa but you work through it yeah. that will be a much better workout than a little bit of this little bit of that little bit of this little bit of that and keep jumping around 100 percent. yeah we we just don't realize and japanese they they've kind of grown up in it in their mm -hmm. numbers so i've said before when i had uh it was shian tabata 
came uh, to a camp I was teaching on in, in Germany and Chantabata was teaching as well. So we, after the session, after our first opening two hours of constant Keon session, he was like, we finished with a couple of Jordan Moashigeris. So we're like, okay, yeah. <laughs> I'll check a couple out. Start off with 500. <laughs> Start off. But, uh, yeah, everyone is like, Fuck, 500 Jordan Moashigiris. <laughs> and you're thinking, we can't do that. But you do it. You get through it. And and Shantabata is Shantabata is like, you know, late 60s. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, he's there, everyone. Ooh, he mm-hmm. counted everyone and he kicked Jordan Moashi for everyone. Mm-hmm. They just you and when you someone says, Well, no, there's no ifs or buts, we're doing it. So either you stand on the side and and look like a Billy No Mates, take your belt off because you don't deserve to wear it, or you just get involved with everyone else and you just go, you get dragged along in the atmosphere. But that's in a dojo. How do you drag yourself in a along dojo. by well, yourself? Again, at home, you have, to, you have to pick a number and a number that it can't be an easy number. But don't it's set gotta, yourself up for failure. No, don't say, I'm going to do a thousand Jordan <laughs> Moashi games before dinner. Exactly. Because, because you fear. But if you said, how many do I normally do? I can do mm-hmm. 20. I can do 20 or 30. Right. I'll do a hundred. Because you know, it's going to, it's going to be a work, but yeah. you're not, it, it's not going to be a massive failure. Mm-hmm. And don't worry. If you have to stop, stop. For, whew, oh, okay. Whew, and then go back into it, but work to the number. Mm-hmm. Even if it takes you an hour to do a hundred Jordan Moashigeris, and you're not taking the piss, like stopping for five minutes mm-hmm. between each ten kicks, uh, it's a that's much that's a brilliant workout. Yeah, you get much better benefit from that than, than a mixture of everything. Absolutely. Another thing is just choosing the things that you know you suck at or you're just not good yeah. at. And even though it sucks, suck it up and do it. Seriously, yeah. like so there's. There's always, everybody has their thing that they're not comfortable doing and they're not, that's hilarious. In your gi, drinking your, looks like you're in a way. <laughs> but, you know, um, whatever that may be, like, could be whatever, choose whatever technique that, that's not comfortable to you, um, chipping away at it, 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 it pays dividends. Just- Thinking of something different than what you've just said there, yeah. like, that's hilarious. In your gi drinking wine, of like, oh my, <laughs> sacrilege, terrible. Yeah, You're right. drinking alcohol in your gi. Oh, Some people God. will be like that. I bet you, oh, like, well, yeah, it's a good point. They you. The people yeah. will be like, oh my God, you drink, you're drinking a, a beautiful semi million <laughs> in your gi, and it's like, <gasps> uh, aqua vito. And it's like, well, yeah, because my gi is basically my karate, it's a uniform that I wear. I, I'll come home. I won't take it off immediately sometimes and fold it, do my folding ceremony and place it on the karate shelf ready for the next session. <laughs> I leave it on sometimes, you know, mm. I just do what I have dinner in it. Forget it, get <laughs> gravy all over it, and food, wipe it off. And I won't even wash it before the next session. I'll just wipe oh, it off Jesus. and then go to the next session. <laughs> They're like, oh, Shen, is that gravy? No, it's blood. <laughs> someone's bled from the last session i tell you before in one of the early episodes i had uh, my old dog i had put her my yeah. uh, doggy on just threw it over his shoulders and i had people like, like oh, lose it sacrilege <laughs> oh, God. oh people get over it themselves. is so yeah i think you've got to pick a number work to that now or, or pick a time pick a time um you can either work to numbers or work to time. i prefer to work to numbers because then you can you can kind of you know where you're going don't you you can gear it mm-hmm. or you could say right i'm gonna do jordan moashigeri for one minute right and, and i can't stop i have to keep going i can't stop mm-hmm. that's the same thing and then you know like because it's only you holding yourself accountable mm-hmm but, pe- pe- <laughs> but we are, remember, the brain has got a, uh, the brain wants to look after you. The brain is like, no, your legs are tired. Yeah. You need to stop and have a little rest. Yeah. So when you're working on your own, you will create things of, 
oh, I've just slipped on the rug. I can't do it. I'm slipping. I need to stop and remove the rug before I can do any more kicks. It's so true. <laughs> and you just you will justify that to yourself. Yeah. I can't kick. The rug is slipping. I could do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so true that's one of the barriers you've got to be is you've got to be like right i don't give a fuck if the house is on fire i am finishing this set and you know, when you go on no go keep on your own ramp I, I just, you fucking stop me again i've lost it <laughs> no I was, I was reading a thing a uh, uh, navy seal thing yeah they were saying, and I'll, I don't got the number right, but they said that we, even when we're, we think we're working hard, we're only working at like, like 65% of our uh, capability. It's crazy. Like that's, so and it's I all because this. that lizard brain going, come it, on it, now, it, what are you doing? It is, it's, it's, it's there for us. It's like, whoa, don't, don't, don't fucking punch that. You might do it yourself. <laughs> no, we need, you, listen, you're too weak to do that. We yeah. need to protect ourselves. And it's inbuilt. And I think part of our karate training is overriding that little voice. Yeah. Because we can do, uh, if, if you had said before, right, I want you to get a baseball bat that is hard and I want you to snap it over your shin bone. <laughs> you do that. Let's see. You'll be like, are you on fucking drugs? <laughs> I'm not doing that. But then when someone does do it, you're like, yeah, that's the norm. Everyone's doing that. The kids are doing that these days. <laughs> so your, your, your body can be pushed to amazing feats and lengths and things that it does. And Osorsai say the same thing in his book, you know, uh, you, uh, and he would talk about things not to brag, but mm -hmm. to say to you, this is this is what is achievable. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not saying, look how great I am. I'm saying, look what I have done. And you can do the same if you push yourself to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can uh, watch all the motivational videos you want in the world. But at the end of the day, you're the one's got to uh, push yourself. And so, then, <laughs> so just, uh, don't get caught up in that. Right. I'm training for one hour solid. I'm training for one hour. Let me just get the right music. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, that's your uh, thing. <laughs> you're like, uh, no, I don't like this tune. This is like, right, right. I got 15 minutes left of my session. I'm going to smash it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> one of the things also bugs me these days because we're such a friggin' nerf um, society now is just calling people out on their shit. Or calling yourself out. You're not allowed to do that. I know, but it's crazy. Like, I, I don't, like... <sighs> anyway. Well, I, I like to pride myself on calling people's bullshit. But not just this, like, not like like that even. Just, like, when I... Call <laughs> yourself on your yeah, bullshit. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm so hard on myself. Like, you know, when I'm trying to push myself. That, things that you're not even supposed to say publicly now like like get your fucking fat ass out there and whatever oh you can't say fuck and you can't say fat exactly fat shaming and we're gonna yeah anyway. get your non-athletic buttocks i know right out. it doesn't have the same ring to it <laughs> no <laughs> but yeah it, it is but again i'm like we said before i am an expert in procrastination <laughs> So I have a whole argument with myself over, over things. I've, I've always been, a, you know, I've always had the hustle. I've always had the hustle to do things, which have led to me having a natural defense mechanism. Mm. If you, like, it's what me and Sue's have arguments all the time. Not because of what she says. She's exactly right in what she says. Because the way she says to it triggers my defense mechanism. And I'll, and I'll argue a defense, even when I'm wrong. I'll argue a defense. That's just in because I've always had the I've always been a hustle. I've always had that hustle and made my own way. So that's there. And it's the same, like we said now with the progressive training, being hard on yourself. You're like, um, it's like, oh, I'm gonna do hundred kicks. I've done 50. Yeah, but I've been fucking jetting all day. So you know, my back is tired. And and I'll have an argument with myself. <laughs> The defensive side of me will come up and say, yeah, but you've been jetting all day. you got, you know, you got to jet tomorrow. Don't knock yourself up. And I'm like, yeah, but I need to train. Yeah, but and they're, they're like on my shoulders. And I'm just sitting in the middle being like, am I going to do these kicks then or what? <laughs> so we, oh, we've all... Now, anyway. Yeah, it's like, oh, well, I haven't got time to do them now anyway. 
I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> How's that? Are you still doing that challenge? The burpee thing? Oh, it's done. Is it? And what, what, what was the challenge again? How many? Uh, it was supposed to be 3,000 burpees for February. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Yeah, but I, I we Wait were. It's we, supposed to be. What? What? It was you... supposed to be three thousand. I, uh, but I said I'm not doing three. I'm doing. I'll do two, because okay. we came into it a week late, and I said I haven't got time again. I haven't got time to do that. I'd be jetting and busy. I can't <laughs> knock on myself up for work. So I'd already had my excuse ready. But no, I did did two thousand. Nice. That's good. Yeah, I did. That's good. And it were and. and you know, so we were doing 100 burpees sets of 200 burpees. If we said, right, do 200 burpees, Scott, you'd be like, fuck off. <laughs> 200 burpees. Yeah. A proper you, burpee? <laughs> no. Yeah. But when you break it down into sets of 20. Yeah, digestible. 10, 10 sets of 20. And it's yeah. like, well, actually, it's quite doable. Yeah. And as long as you just keep uh, the, the, the the constant monotony and the, the, the going through it, you're like, yeah, chipping away, you can do it. So I do them in. Me and Suze would normally take turns. Mm. I do 20 at a fast pace. Mm. And then you stop. She does her 20. You mark off 20. Then do another 20. But, and before you know it, you're on 100. Mm. Mm. 100 is only five turns. Five five sets mm. of 20. And you're like, yeah, I've done I've just done 100 burpees. That's excruciating exercise. Do you guys do the push-up in it? You know what I mean? When yeah, well, it, the, 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 my burpee that I've always done, the karate burpee I've always done is, is you go down to the squat, you do a push-up, but you don't touch the floor. Right. Yeah, then yeah, you yeah. push up, you come up and jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But That's like the, cross, the, the CrossFit burpee sort of thing is you've got to go down, but you've got to lie on the floor. All your weight has got to lie on the floor. Then you've got to push yourself up. Yeah, well, I did CrossFit long time. Not lie. I mean, it's got to touch. No, you've got to hands yeah. off the floor. No, you don't. Mr. Don't argue with me. <laughs> I did CrossFit. <laughs> it's uh, I do diff- different variant. And this is what I said to them. So Susie would be like, no, proper, proper ones. And I'm like, well, you want me to do the, the lie down ones? Have a little lie down in the middle. So they say lie on the floor and take the weight off your hands. I, I, I never I never did that one when I was in CrossFit, but you just reminded different, me. Different variations, though, in there. You oh, know, yeah. nothing's wrong. It depends what you want to do. I uh, listened to this amazing podcast the other day, Joe Rogan, with uh, Matt Fraser. So he's the guy who's uh, the retired CrossFit guy. He has the record. Uh, he won uh, five um no titles. that's not fraser yeah it is fro isn't it fro fro no he had so he had four matt fraser ah, had five. right yeah so anyway um but uh, talking about crossfit and stuff because i love crossfit but one thing i did hate is and we talked about this a bit before because you're going for speed and after a while technique yeah. starts going out the you lose form and then you start getting injured yeah so he talked about that so he has no injury well that's not true he blew his lower back up, but not doing CrossFit. Apart uh, from being in a wheelchair, he has not had a single injury. <laughs> yeah. No, but he's talking about his uh, his thing before was uh, Olympic weightlifting. So, mm-hmm. and that was his goal. In university he was going to be he was trying to be on the Olympic American team. So he had all that perfect form for years. He had been doing it since he was like ten or twelve years old. Um, so when he got into CrossFit, a lot of it was pretty easy for him and he was able to mm. do things a lot longer and he found things easier because of technique and he and he talks about how um, you know he, they thought of crossfit as, like he, he hid it from his friends he, he didn't because he is yeah. all this shit shat on uh crossfit so he didn't tell so he showed up on like tsn or something one weekend they were like what isn't that? <laughs> well that's it that the power lifters do they're like yeah listen listen if you're going to lift weight, lift some fucking serious weight and stop <laughs> fannying about. Either do it or you don't do it. <laughs> but I tell you who, uh, you know, the beast, uh, Eddie oh, Hall, yeah, yeah, strongest yeah. man, the beast. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's now like gone the other way now. So he's like proper cat. They, he, they talk pack. about him on that episode. He's like shredded now. Proper six pack. Well, he did a CrossFit competition. He holds the world record for it. Which oh, really? was the, I'm not sure what it was, the Sally Up or whatever it's called. I don't know. You grab the bar, but you haven't got to bend your legs. It's basically touch the bar to the floor and just get it up high, 
touch it and just get it up oh, high. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Without the cleat, it's not a clean. I know, I know what you're talking about, and I know that I saw him doing. He's just like, meh, 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 meh. yeah, because like, <laughs> the, like the, it's the, nothing. The, the like the, the the max weight for them to do it is absolutely nothing to him. Mm-hmm. You know, the guy's like shoulder pressing like two, three hundred pounds, four hundred pounds, whatever. <laughs> There's nothing to him. So he is literally just doing that with yeah, the weight. It literally looks like he's sticking a broomstick and just. I know but that it almost video. it almost killed him, you know, <laughs> the, the, because that anaerobics that he's not used to. Speaking of that, I did an anaerobic test the other day on Monday. Um, holy shit! I thought I was going to throw up, and so I had to do a bunch of stuff uh, in this circuit. So one was this test testing power output for different stuff. So I had to take like you know I had to take a forty five pound um, uh, um, bar and you kind of shot put it and then you start yeah. adding weight onto it while they measure yeah. your output uh, um, chest to bar or stuff but then I had to get on an airdyne bike which I hate you know mm. like an airdyne bike. yeah and I had to go all out for 45 seconds which sounds like nothing that's a long uh, time 45 seconds most people but it doesn't sound like much though <laughs> You but go flat you out for it. Fucking bike after doing that shit. And you go, and you got to go, you got to go to complete exhaustion because that's the whole point is to yeah. measure your anaerobic output. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> like I, uh, I took me about, and then I did a workout after all this. Uh, the whole thing, I thought I was going to go to the hospital. <laughs> It was what, what they say to you in the end, you've got the output of a 25 year old. Pretty much, pretty much. I'm, yeah, I'm 51, but I'm, yeah, I'm operating like somebody in uh-huh. their late 20s, uh, early 30s, which is pretty impressive. I sold down to Kyokushin. I sold down to this. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so I, what we, our question is, how do you. Structure. Get, get, how do you structure your work or your workout at home? Yeah. It's two. It's either got to be you've got to work to numbers, and the number needs to be something that is not come. Like, don't say right. I can do twenty. Mm. Think what you can do. What's the most you can do at at like at at a push, and then double it. Mm-hmm. So if you can drop down and do forty push-ups, and then forty is your last, then do eighty. Mm-hmm. Because you work to, and you've got to be uncomfortable. It can't be comfortable doing it. And it's got to be a high enough number so that you have to stop halfway through. Or you'll have to stop three or four times. Yep. And then work to them. Or give yourself a time. Yep. And work to the time of something. Say, I'm doing, I'm doing one minute of punching. I'm doing one minute of kicking. One minute of blocking and whatever and whatever. And write it down. Yeah. Mark it up on the fridge and work through it. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. Structure it, whatever you do. And you're t- we're what talking about exercise stuff. The same thing if you're practicing your kihon, your kata, anything. Grab the part that you, instead of like, I'm, you know, which is nothing wrong going through all your kata, whatever. Choose something that you know you're struggling with or a part. Work on that. Same kind of idea. You could do it X amount of times or different types of power, whatever the case may be. Or if you're really struggling, Mm -hmm. do something you are good at. So pick something that you know that is my specialty. Mm Push-ups. I can bang the push-ups. I I like the push-ups. Start with that. Mm -hmm. So it's in a little bit of a comfort zone. And then work towards something that you're not so good at if you're Mm -hmm. really struggling with it. Yeah. Yeah, puts a little carrot there for you. Yeah, what else was I gonna say then on training wise? Uh, yeah, we seem to have we seem to have this blockage of notes and writing out notes and taking down notes and doing plans of like I'm not fucking stupid. I don't need to write it down. I got it up here. Yeah, or I'll, I'll do put it. it in here. Yeah, I'll put it in my phone. But no, right, the same as you know your your, your notebooks, so the stash Writing guns. It down. Susie does it. So as long as Susie's a, like a professional PT, mm-hmm. so as long as as long she write out her lesson plan, what she's going to do five mm-hmm. minutes before quickly jot it down, do, 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 and then do it. Yeah, for, I, for the training. Something similar to what I do. So I had a notebook that I have in my gym bag and that's my mm. little diary thing that I do everything. And, and I ha- if 
if I, I'm so anal about it now that if I don't have it all written out or that book's not with me, uh, you can't I train. You can't train. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, no bother now. No, feel like this when I go, what I to train? Let me just shake my notebook. Nah, don't do that. Do yeah, I'll do that. 30 minutes in, right? I've picked the workouts. <laughs> No, but it makes a huge difference writing it down. And, and in phone it crap, it's just not the same. It's not the same. Yeah, let, let, your, let your list be your instructor. So when you're in the dojo, yeah. if the Shian says we're doing 50 push-ups and you stop at 10, he's like, you've got another 40 to do. Or she, you've got another 40 to do. Mm. Get, crack on. We're working through it. Write out your list on a white... Just put, go and buy a whiteboard off Amazon. They're a couple of quid, right? Mm. Put your whiteboard up where you can see it. Write on there... I'm going to do this, 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 like a wad, workout of the day. Exactly, this, exactly. This, and this. And then look at it and, and let that board hold you to account. Yeah. So when I'm you're fucked, when you're knackered at like 30 minutes, 30, 30 push ups, and you're like, I can't do any more, I'm done. But I got 60 to do. Right. I'll have to do another five and then stop. Then another five and then stop. You've got to work to the number because that's what's on the board. And that's where you should train your mind to be like too, because I'm the type type of personality. If I don't do that, that's gonna bug me at midnight when I'm in bed that I didn't do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I kind of progress from that a bit because uh, I've already got you know the rug was slipping, Scott. You can't do push ups on a rug that's slipping from out from under you. It's not safe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wrap this uh, bad boy up. Uh, I think we've, I got karate we've, to be doing. We've actually answered the question. Yeah, we did. Hey, yeah, I told you the show is evolving. The show is evolving. <laughs> <laughs> so More again, questions. guys, do do the questions, do the subscribing, and give us your comments. We yeah. we think because oh, we've had a chat about it now, and time wise, we think it's better if we do a once a week show to go out on Friday, so you've got the weekend to listen to it. Cover more material. Yeah, we make it a little things. bit longer, so it'd probably be a forty to fifty minute show. Mm. Exactly. That's like five hours of editing for Scott. <laughs> <laughs> he tells me, oh, I got edited. I'm like, you press a button and it's done. I know how to do it. <laughs> I'll edit the next show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, let All us right, know then. what you think about that. Yeah, cool. And do you know what? It, it, because it, we are 50. This is our show, guys. We were doing it together. So I, I will let I let Scott do the, the cut as well. No, I, I did the last one. Cut. I, <laughs> <done>. <laughs>